Welcome to the Rapal Show, and this is the fourth part of our Brazil special, where we traveled to Brazil and back to the Netherlands, and we did uh, three concerts and an unofficial concert, and we traveled eight times in seven days. And uh, William is going to tell you uh, more about it. Uh, we're going to do the Rapal Show together, and we uh, we take a look at our last concert in uh, Sao Paulo. So enjoy. The greatest experience we had in Brazil, I think, was to get up early in the morning. Every day, we got a wake-up call about six o'clock in the morning. Now, for a musician, is that not a normal time? It depends. We find out that in Brazil, you have to fly very early because every city we were flying to for the next concert, we had to do the sound check at first at one o'clock. So we had to travel very early. And the concerts were until tr two o'clock in the night? Well, normally to 12, half past. Yeah. But then the greet greetings to the fans, say hello to the fans yeah. and drink uh, one beer. Before we went to the hotel, most of two o'clock, half past two. When we arrived in the hotel, so yeah, about three, four hours sleep. Good morning. Good morning. And night. Oh, early in the morning. Early in the sea rises, early in the morning. But the lack of sleep already started when we traveled off at half past three in the night from the Netherlands to go to Amsterdam to Schiphol to the airport. Yeah, we were flying then from uh, Amsterdam airport to Dallas, but we already started after lack of sleep with a four or five hours delay to, to wait. I took a big nap somewhere on the couch at the airport and uh, until we flew off to our first stop in Dallas, Texas. And then from Dallas we flew to Sao Paulo. Uh, we, we didn't spend a lot of time in Dallas because the flight was so late. We had a, a very short amount of time to go to three custom services. Yeah. Three times. And especially the problems with the flight cases. Yeah, the flight cases, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the uh, border police in, uh, in Texas or the USA are very, very strict. But we had enough of CDs and a willing piper to do some tunes at the border police stop to get our flight cases in who are actually not allowed to get in the plane. But with some charm from David, we had them all in the plane. <laughs> yeah, we got it. She rises early in the morning. Hurry, head up. She rises. Hurry, head up. She rises. Hurry, head up. As we uh, flew off from Dallas and arrived a few hours later, a few hours later, <laughs> a couple of hours later in Sao Paulo, we directly were booked into the hotel and from the hotel we straight get into a restaurant. It was like a medieval restaurant and we were, uh, we had a big welcome in the restaurant. I think it's a common odd thing in, uh, in South America, not only in Brazil, the medieval theme with festivals. And uh, there we had a meet and greet with fans and we played some music, of course, at the uh, end of the night. And then we went back to the hotel to get some sleep. <laughs> It's good that we have some cards uh, up in the corner where you can click to the Rapalje show where you see more about these concerts we did on all the days. The first official concert was in uh, Belo Horizonte. And we arrived around about one o'clock in the hall where we played, was it a hall? I can't remember that yeah. anymore, but I think it was a hall. 
there's many things we can't remember anymore because it went all so fast yeah and with lack of sleep and all this this traveling and everything it's good that we made some video so live in the fast lane so we now can see what happened in brazil <laughs> because actually the first concert i can't remember i mean me neither i was so tired but we did it and then we went back to the hotel to get some sleep two hours so the next day at six o'clock we went to the airport in Belo Horizonte, flew off to Sao Paulo, and in Sao Paulo we had a direct connection to Curitiba for the next concert. And we, had, uh, we ate fish quada, was there? Quada. I remember many things in Curitiba, I must say. I, I remember the fish quada. Yeah. It was a nationally uh, recipe, and I asked what is in there, they said there's pork in but you don't know what part of the park is in it. <laughs> Give me everything. So now, on this uh, fourth part of the Paul show, we arrived in Sao Paulo for our last concert from this series in Brazil. Knowing that after the concert, I went back to the hotel, knowing that the wake-up call was next 6 o'clock, I think 11 o'clock or not. There was no wake-up call There was no wake-up call. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I hope if we're coming back to Brazil that we can spend some more time. And after this free day, we traveled back to Amsterdam again to be home and it went also very fast. And now we're home. Where's Brazil? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna see it on the videos and you're gonna see it on the videos as well. Our tour and what happened on the tour. Five videos. Uh, well we said about drinks and everything but uh, David is so spare with his drinks that he kept it in his backpack and he got a, a report from uh, the, the security and been asked if he had some uh, liquids in his backpack. <laughs> there was a lot of liquid in his backpack, <laughs> all in his clothes and everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the bottles were broken. From the hotel, we've been uh, transported to our uh, to the club where we're playing tonight, and you see a picture of our van from the outside and after from the inside. After the sound check in Sao Paulo, we had a little spare time so I could relax in the sun and enjoy the Brazilian sun a little bit. Uh, David can, uh, can dry <laughs> his clothes. Um, that was and the fresh, fresh air of uh, David's socks. Thank you, yes. And we had another lunch. We saw the, li the life on the streets in Brazil and it was very bitter to see how people have to live there with actually nothing what you see from Africa, but they got it in South America as well. They live in cardboard houses, if they got some cardboard. And even with children and everything, it was really uh, depressing to see that in our life as being transported in luxurious vans, sleeping in hotels and having nice dinners. Actually, uh, yeah. well, yeah, that's life. After a quick nap in our hotel, we came back in the evening at the venue and uh, let's check out what you can do there because you can eat uh, many things and again our t-shirts were, were there from several different people as well. You can see by the video oh, as well hi. how friendly the people hi. are. <laughs> they're all smiling and uh, oh, they're all willing to get on the camera. Hi. And it made us feel very welcome. Yes. I didn't know nothing about the food they showed up there.
we want to thank you very much for all the people we've seen these three amazing days all over the country, all over Brazil. We traveled north and south every day for you. Thank you very much for listening. Hooray, 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 hooray